Well, when you're 17, nobody thinks you might die today. Seems absurd almost, but it happens more than you think. For elder student Josh Patty, it happened in the weight room during swim practice. The world went dark. We begin with the good news. Josh Patty is alive. He's the exception. His mom tells me 92% of the people who have sudden death arrest don't make it. Paramedics brought Josh back to life after three shocks to his heart. We got his pulse back. And how did that make you feel? Uh, excellent. <laughs> that was, it was a good feeling to be able to know that, he, that his pulse was back. He died and they brought him back. Yeah. So that was unbelievable. When he was pulseless and not breathing, it, was, it changes your mindset completely. They just started cooling his body down right away and um, put him on life support. And then it was 24, 48 hours. We didn't know what we were going to get when he came to. He didn't come to for a week. When he woke up at University Hospital, he had no idea what had happened. Where am I? What's going on right now? What are all these wires and stuff like that? I had no idea what was happening. I think they explained it to me like hundreds of times. Cincinnati Fire Paramedics saved his life. We're just very fortunate that they were close by and uh, that they, uh, they went the extra distance to uh, save my son's life. It happened October 21st of last year. Josh is already back at school. He's allowed to work out, even lift weights, but not yet compete in the pool or on the tennis court, which he loves. But he's here with both his family and his elder family. The only sign of the event is a small device implanted in his chest. Well, I actually have a defibrillator in and it goes from right about here. I have like an inch and a half scar and there's wires that go around and into my heart. That's a safety device in case it happens again, which amazingly no one thinks will be the case. But no tests have shown why it happened in the first place. It's been just wonderful to have him with us and, and uh, realizing that every day that uh, we spend time with my youngest. I'm very blessed to have the community and the support that we've had. It's been wonderful. The men and women of the Cincinnati Fire Department, Truck 17, Medic 17, and Truck 24 will be honored tomorrow night for saving young Josh Patty's life. As for the family, they say they are taking it one day at a time and feel very thankful to the firefighters for giving them that opportunity. It was a pleasure to talk to everybody involved. And don't